Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode, we built ourselves this boar-like creature. All the code is done for this AI-driven, very, very simple AI-driven creature. He will run at you, he will attack you, he will fall off the cliff, he will do everything he's supposed to do. Alright? There's something I'd like to add though. I'd like to add the concept of a, a drop meaning that when you kill off the boar, he's going to drop something, possibly drop something, all right? And this is kind of an extended process. It doesn't necessarily have to be for drops. We're going to build an item that the character can pick up, and uh, that could be used for anything. Let's say you want to have an ammo pickup, or you want to have a health pickup, or you want to have, I don't know, points, or, or whatever you want to do, keys, or anything at all that you want to pick up. It could work this way. We're going to have the, the process extended slightly so that when we kill the boar, it actually instantiates that, uh, that pickup. But other than that, it could be used for anything at all that you want to design that the, that the player character was able to pick up. All right, that's today's episode. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, we have to design ourselves our pickup. And I've decided it's going to be a health pickup, just like I did in the other game. It's going to be a health pickup. We don't actually track uh, our player's uh, ammunition or anything like that. Uh, and we don't really have a point uh, score system on here yet. So um, we're just going to have him drop a health pickup. So that way, if you've taken damage, maybe you can get your health back. All right, it's going to be really easy. We're going to start off, first of all, by designing the pickup. And it's going to be, it's going to be done very, very simplistically. I'm going to use, let me just drop this in here somewhere. Bam. I don't want it under the killer boar. I want it under some random location right there. Uh, it's at zero, zero, zero. Great. And that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to adjust the size of it a little tiny bit. Let's make it uh, half the size, maybe. 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. 0 0.5. That doesn't look so bad. Uh, so we're not going to, you know, you could make this as fancy as you wanted to. You already know how to make a particle system. You already know how to make a complex uh, gaming, uh, a game object. You already know how to do all that kind of stuff. We've done it a bunch of times. So I'm going to keep this relatively simplistic. I I'm going to put it on a good order layer. Let's put it on uh, order layer two. Uh, so it's up above everything else. Uh, and I'm going to position it slightly out in the Z. Now, I haven't talked about this. If we take a look at 3D itself, um, and we adjust the spacing of everything, right now you see how there's, there's a little bit of space? I, I made it very, very small amounts. Uh, you can make them larger amounts, like I did here, uh, larger amounts. But if you want to, you can actually ensure that there's no overlap by adjusting the value in the Z. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to 2D here, and I'm gonna zoom in, focus. Uh, I'm gonna adjust it slightly out, so I'm gonna put it at negative uh, 0.1. So that's gonna put it ahead of everything else. Remember, as we move back, farther away, the values get larger, and as we move closer to the camera, the uh, values are, are going to be negative. Uh, so I'm going to put it at negative one, and that's where I'm going to have this uh, for the most part. Uh, and I'm going to have to decide where I want this thing, uh, how high I want it above the ground. Uh, there's a couple of things that we do already know. Uh, we already know that the, the, um, the object itself um, has to have some kind of collider on it. If we want our character to be able to pick it up. It has to have some kind of collider on it. So that's the first thing we're going to add. Go on over. Oh, let me turn this off for now. Go on over and say add component. And let's add ourselves a physics 2D. Uh, a circle collider is fine because uh, that's really and truly kind of what we got here, a circle collider. Uh, that's really great. That's all we really, really need to do for this object here. It's, of course, going to be a trigger, and that way, uh, when the character runs into it, uh, we'll have three opportunities on enter, on stay, and on exit to do something with code. All right, so it's going to be a trigger. The character can run through it. It doesn't block us in any way. All right, so that's going to be our heart, and I think we're going to have to add in here a little bit of code as well, because something's going to happen uh, whenever the character touches this object. So let's add a component, bam, and let's add a brand new script. And I think that this script, uh, we should give it obviously a name that, that means something, so let's call it a health pickup. Pick up. All right. Uh, and there's not going to be a whole lot to this script, to be honest. Uh, all we want it to do is we want it to somehow affect... Uh, let's, well, let's open it, so I'm not just talking about it. We want it to somehow affect our player, all right? Uh, so there's a couple of things we're going to have to do. Uh, health pickup right here, boom. First of all, we want this thing to be, as soon as the character touches it, to do something. So void on trigger enter 2D. Uh, we're going to use the on trigger enter, so as soon as the character collides with it, it actually operates. Uh, and of course, just like before, it's going to take a collider 2D. Uh, 
Uh, and it's going to, we'll just call it other. We always call it other. That's pretty much standard. Other. All right, so that's the other collider that's colliding with it. In this case, it's going to be our character. We want to check that first. Is it our character? So if other dot tag, and we've done this stuff a bunch of times now, guys. You know how to do this. Is equal to quotations player. Oops, I have two quotations there. Player. Then we want something to happen. Now, what do we want to happen? This is the tricky part. Um, what we want to happen is we want uh, we want our character to gain health. That's our plan. The character's going to gain health. But right now, we have no ability to actually have that character gain health. So here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a public variable, a float, uh, that's going to be called a uh, health amount. All right, And that's going to be the amount of health that our player character is actually going to gain. Let's close off these other ones because we don't need them. Now. What we need to do, look, let's look at our scripts here, and let's find our player health. What we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to make some changes to our player health script. Uh, we currently have, if we, if we go down to the bottom, zoop, we currently have, why is this on like this? It doesn't matter. Um, we currently have this, this public void uh, add damage script. All right, We have that. We want something very, very similar, but instead of adding damage, we want to add health. That's what we want to do. All right. So we're going to say public void add health. And it's going to take some amount. All right. And it's going to take a float. It's exactly the same as the one above it. Float uh, health amount, let's call it. Doesn't really matter what we call it. Health amount. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So let's move this down so you guys can see it better. All right. So with that being the case, what we basically want to do is we want to do a couple of things. We want to change the character's current health uh, to the uh, to the amount that's that's being added, right? So we want current health, which is what it was called, to be plus equal. That's the short form of saying add this together, plus equal, and it's the health amount. All right. So in this line, we are basically giving the character additional health, right? We're saying here's extra health according to how much you've actually been picked up, how much has been picked up. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our current health hasn't gone above our maximum health. You know, you can decide that the character can have some kind of overdrive health if you want. In this game, I don't want that. I just want them to go back to their maximum health. So to do so, I'm going to say if current health is greater than my, what did I call it, max health? I haven't done this in a while. What did I call it? Let's go up here and look. What did I call it? I called it full health. If it's greater than full what did I call it? I call it full health, right? Full health, yep. Full health. Then what we want to do is we want to set our current health to our full health. That's all we want to do. Equals full health. Perfect. All right, so that line, basically what this line is saying is, is if, we, if we have more health than we're supposed to, just set it back to where we're supposed to. All right, easy peasy. And the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure we check our health uh, let's see what we called it because I don't remember our health slider right here our health slider value equal to uh, our current health perfect so this is basically going to set up the character so he's picked up the health his health has been adjusted all right this will work for anything anytime that this public public thing is accessed this public function is accessed will add health so this doesn't have to be necessarily a drop it could be any kind of pickup you want or every time you bang into a flower or any time you walk over a certain ground or whatever you're going to be able to access this public health this this public add health function all right all right, guys, sorry about that. I had a crash <laughs> before I got a chance to save. So I think I'm back to where I was. Uh, okay, so we just finished off. We added our health function, our public health function, and, and that's going to mean that every time that uh, the character, uh, anytime anything wants to add health to our character, it's got the ability to do so through this publicly available function. All right, so let's go back to our health pickup now. Boom, health pickup. Uh, the okay, so here's where we were. Uh, if the other if the other tag is a player, then we now have access to uh, that that uh, public function. The first thing we need to do is uh, get a reference get a reference to that uh, that script. So there's our player health, and we'll call it the health the health. 
uh, is going to be equal to, and we know that it is on the the actual. Um, we know player health is actually located on the game object that we're banging into. Perfect. So let's say other dot game object dot, and we're going to get component. Like I said, it's available right on the top level. Get component. We are of course going to get the quotations. No quotations. Player health. The player health. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So that's going to give us a reference to our player health script that's on the object that we banged into. All right, or that banged into us. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to access the health dot add health. All right, and we want to add the amount of health equal to. Oh, I didn't add this back in <laughs> when I crashed. Sorry. Uh, it was a public float. Uh, I forget what I called it. Health amount, I think I called it. Health amount. Hopefully, that looks exactly the same uh, as you guys saw before. All right, health amount. So we want to add in there health amount. Perfect. And uh, the last thing we want to do is, of course, adjust the the slider. Oh, no, we already did that on the other one. <laughs> we did on the other side. All right, that's all we want to do. No, one last thing. We want to destroy uh, this game object. Uh, so once the character picks it up, we don't want them to be able to pick it up again. We don't want them to continue to get uh, the benefits from this object. So we are going to destroy it immediately. All right, it's going to disappear. And if you wanted to, you can have it disappear in a puff of smoke. Let me go file save right now in case I crash again and file save it's already done alright great so so far so good our player should be able to theoretically pick up this health pickup however the last thing we want to do let's open up our enemy health boom 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 and uh, our enemy health this is the location that we actually want to generate instantiate our our uh, effects our death effects or our, our pickup sorry um, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to say whether or not this guy can even do it, uh, whether or not he can even drop a uh, even drop something. So we're going to say public, and we're going to make a public bool, uh, so true or false, and we'll call it uh, drops. All right. So if drops is true, then this this enemy can drop a, a health pack, and if it's not true, then he can't do anything at all. All right. And that way, uh, we can set it up so that um, some of your enemies drop stuff and some of them don't. It's up to you guys. All right. This is going to be something that's available through the inspector for each enemy. All right. And we will also make a public uh, game object. Uh, and this is going to be the actual object that gets dropped. So called the drop. Doesn't really matter what you call it. All right. Both of these uh, publics are obviously, both these public variables are obviously a variable uh, a val available in the inspector. All right, so we want to go down to, let's, let's clean this up a little bit because this doesn't look great here. Clean you up. Uh, let's go down to the make dead and in make dead basically what we want to do is if drops is true. So if drops, if drops is true, then we actually want to drop something. So instantiate. And if you wanted to in here, you could have a percentage chance of drops. Like you could go through, we already took a look at the random function before. Uh, and you could go through and you could you could say, I think we took a look at the random function. <laughs> Um, you could go through and say, you know, there's a random chance, a 50% chance of it. Oh, yeah, we did for the flip. So use that same concept as we use for the flip to say there's a 50% chance, a 20% chance, a 8% chance of instantiating this drop. All right. In my case, I don't care if you kill the bad guy, then you get the goodies. All right. So we're going to instantiate the drop. All right. Where do we want to instantiate it? We want to instantiate at the transforms. Uh, transform uh, current position, so just position. Uh, and we also want to do it with the transform form uh, rotation. So the current rotation and the current uh, position of the of the object that's dropping it. All right. So that's all we really need to do. File, save, make sure everything's saved this time because I hate redoing stuff. Health pickup, file save. Okay, everything looks good. All right, the last thing we need to do is to go into our killer bore, find our health script, enemy health script, change. Why did you not change? There must be an error. There is. Uh, transform does not contain a definition of position. I spelled it wrong. Position, enemy health, pose, eh, shun. File save, boom. Now, if everything is awesome, nope. Health, Heath, I put, does not 
uh, what's this under? It's under player health, name, it's on 68. Let's go back, player heath, 68, player health, file, save, now work, damn you. All right, all is good. Let's go over here. We can actually take a look at our boar, and when we do so, we can see that boom, 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 we've got ourselves a new Boolean. In this case, I want my killer boar to drop something. Great, and I want him to drop this health pickup. Let me actually put this health pickup back where it should be. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna put it back at zero, 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 zero. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this thing is applied properly, because like I said before, I crashed. Delete it, I don't need you anymore. Delete. Uh, we've got it right here, so let's go back to our bore and make sure that in our bore, our game object we're dropping is this health pickup. Boom. File, save. I don't want to crash. All right, let's see what happens now when I kill a bore. Play. Everything's working great. Jump at a jump. My bore is right there. He's going to charge me. Ugh. Try to kill me. Get out of there. Whew, that was a close one. Okay, let's kill this bore off. There we go. There's our hearts. A little bit high. Boom. I picked it up. And that should have adjusted my health. You know what? I didn't check and see if I did. Let's mute that. And it actually looked a little bit high. So I'm going to adjust this in here. Uh, it looked a little bit high to me. Let's adjust this to only 0.5. Play. Let's go kill that guy again. I'm going to kill you, boar. Chase me. Chase me, boar. Chase me, boar. All right, let's go kill your friend. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here so you can see. Let's go over here, take a little bit of damage. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> uh, I didn't give it a value. Let's find our health pickup, uh, our heart, and let's give it the health amount equal to, let's say, five. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's try that one more time. Uh, boom, boom. Come get me, hit me once. Oh, that hurt. Charge me now, go in the hole. Uh, you can see I've taken a bunch of damage here. I'm gonna kill this guy off. One, two, three, four shots. Great, there's my heart. Boom. You can see this thing here went back and my health is back to where it was. And that is exactly what we wanted to do in this episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna make a few adjustments. I'm gonna actually, well, no, you know what? I'll do it on camera later on. Guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. In this episode, we did pickups and those pickups can be of any kind you want. So start adding things to your game. Ammunition, let's say, anything you want. Add yourself a public function to your character and then you just simply adjust it to the public function. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comments down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.